on Wednesday, former Army Commander and former FDC President General Mugisha Muntu oversaw the launch of a new political party, the Alliance for National Transformation. The Alliance joins a list of about 34 active and non-active political parties already registered in Uganda. So what makes the Alliance for National Transformation a political party that will not only increase the number of political parties but also become a force to bring on within Ugandan politics? Sirajian Sanja, a political science lecturer at Kampala University, says Uganda's politics has become very paralyzed with extreme views from both the ruling NLM party and opposition political parties gaining prominence. Sanja says ANT offers an option for those with moderate outlooks. Those in power, they are playing politics on the extremes and those in opposition, they are playing extremist politics. So the coming of a new political party will provide an alternative moderate route that will endear and attract professionals to join our politics. Our politics has been marred by dirty approaches. So the coming of the Alliance for National Transformation is a welcome move in that it is going to provide a corporate approach to politics. According to Nsanja, Major General Mugisha Muntu's personality and political beliefs are likely to attract more supporters from both the NRM and the wide opposition. He has a very good message which is apparently needed. People are yearning for change, but they don't explain what, quality, what type of change do they want. So Muntu is coming with another addition, another ingredient that much as it is change, but it should be qualitative change. It shouldn't be mere change, but that change should come with a quality that would be reflected in institutionalizing of power than personalizing of, than personalizing of power. Dr. Benson Tusasiri, a lecturer at Makere University School of Law, differs from Monsanja's views. According to him, African politics is determined by political firebrands who can attract support from passionate supporters. A quality, he says, Mugisha Muntu lacks. And perhaps that's also General Muntu's personal, biggest personal weakness. The, being too methodical and too systematic about what you do, sometimes it's not good for politics because you need to hit the ground running. He's telling us, Tomorrow, which is today, they will start off going to the countryside. Where have they been for one year? Why haven't they been uh, in the countryside already? What changed yesterday that now they will finally do what they have not done before the formal launch? Because uh, when you are taking on a ruling party, you don't wait until you are officially given a certificate. And, uh, no, at some point you also have to run before you are even told to. Both Siraj and Sanjay and Benson to Sassiri agree that if a deal for a peaceful transition was to ever be made, Muntu's Alliance for National Transformation is better positioned to be the favored successor to Museveni because other political groups would be probably be viewed as overly confrontational. You need a transition which comes from without, but which is not frightening to the NRM because it holds power. Mm. And to me, Alliance for National Transformation seems to be positioned to do, bo to do that, to be the, mess, the, 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 the party that carries a transition that is not frightening the status quo, but which can at the same time carry a meaningful transformation. So if they use that starting point very well, there is a future. Our main purpose is to ensure that people see us through what we say, through what we do, as Major General Mugisha Munt always says, you cannot give what you don't have. It is only time that will tell whether the Alliance for National Transformation has what it takes to compete with the more established political parties. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.